In a country called Sweden lives a boy called Charlie. And outside his house, there's a tree. Charlie's climbing tree. He likes to climb his tree and lie there thinking, most of all about Emma, his pretend friend. Under the tree sits Charlie's grandpa, reading the newspaper. While up in the tree lies Charlie, dreaming. One day, Charlie was lying in his tree, as usual, trying to think about Emma. And Grandpa, as usual, was sitting in the shade reading his newspaper. New flu epidemic on the way, he read. Thousands bedridden. Yes, that would be right, thought Charlie. When I had German measles, I had to stay in bed as well. It started at school. The teacher was chattering on as usual, when suddenly she noticed my spots. And so did everyone else. Grandpa had to come and collect me, and he took me home in a taxi. He was very upset, because it cost him more than the bus. When we got home, we took my temperature. It was nearly 103 degrees. So Grandpa rang the doctor. The doctor came and listened to my chest. Then she looked into my ears and down my throat. Then she said I had German measles, but I knew that already. Then Grandpa came in with something to eat. But I didn't feel like eating, so I went to sleep instead, and I dreamt about spots. I wonder what measles do when they're waiting to be caught. I decided to check to see if my German measles were still there. Yes, they were still there, all present and correct. I don't suppose trees get German measles. I wonder what Emma would have said if she'd seen all my spots. Ah oh well, it was nice to get back into bed and snuggle down. But soon it got rather hot and uncomfortable and the sheets felt all wrinkly. Then Grandpa came in with some water. <coughs> and after Grandpa had made my bed, he read me a story. 
It was a story about a little old man who lived in a mushroom. But a fir cone fell onto the mushroom and broke it as it was all worm-eaten. And then the old man cried. But along came a squirrel and said that there was a fine tree stump. So the old man moved in there and that's where he lived. It was a very boring story. Next day, I felt much better, but I didn't know what to do. I just lay there looking up at the ceiling and out of the window, counting the spots on the wallpaper, counting the cracks in the ceiling, counting the tiles on the roofs, counting my nose, counting the cracks in the ceiling again, but then Grandpa came in, and he showed me how to do crochet. I made oven cloths. Lots and lots of oven cloths. Then when I'd used up all the wool, I counted the oven cloths. When I was nearly better again, I was allowed up. I felt a bit strange. Still, next day I felt well enough to go to school. But when I got to school, the teacher was the only one there. All the others had gone home because they'd caught my German measles. Still, I'm glad my German measles have all gone to good homes. <laughs>